Shad CNUI is honestly a gift that keeps on giving. He released a new uh, update called Blocks, which are essentially these pages uh, built using Shad CN components uh, that are ready to use, and you can copy paste the code. But honestly, I don't even feel right calling Shad CN. Um, a component library because unlike other component libraries like Bootstrap where you just have to download uh, packages and get access to the component itself, ShadCN gives you full customization. And what I mean by that is, sure, you can do MPX ShadCN add button, but the amazing part is you get access to the code. So you can see how this button component was made. Uh, you know, the class name, the variant, the size, as child, you can see the code and you can make tweaks to it based on your style and preference. And this is why I think as a community, um, you know, the web development community has embraced ShadCN uh, just for giving us that much access and that much control over our components. And now we have blocks, which essentially seems to be pages that you can just uh, copy and paste the code and implement on your web applications. For example, you know, setting up a dashboard isn't, you know, the hardest thing, but it's not the most, you know, easiest thing. Now you have code and you can easily um, just copy this code and make tweaks to this dashboard. Um, they also have uh, another dashboard. I, I like this. Uh, you have no products and I'll show you why I like it. Um, they have a playground. This seems to be like an AI chatbot style app uh, settings for a dashboard and then authentication, right? But here's the interesting part. I don't know if you guys know this, but ShadCN works for Vercel now. And I love this integration that's sort of happening with Vercel's AI and uh, ShadCN's components, right? Because if you see here, you can see an edit in v V0. And V0 is the AI, um, AI website platform that Vercel is building that you can just prompt to create a uh, components or pages like for example i'm on the v0 dashboard i can make edits to this so let's say add a line chart to the dashboard now you know it, it is a time where a lot of developers are fearful of ai but i'll be honest a lot of these tools just make me excited because it can make us developers ship faster and quicker and be more efficient with our development so I'm starting to see this integration between Vercel and ShadCN that I, I, I'm really enjoying, and I'm, I'm personally just a big fanboy of the ShadCN uh, style. I'll show you a project that I'm working on, how I use ShadCN components, and how I used a bit of the blocks just yesterday. Again, V0, I've used a couple times, honestly, just to get some boilerplate code to get started. Um, again, I'm all about moving fast, and if there are tools that exist that will allow me to move fast, um, why not? And I think one thing you can do is you can click on code and does it add things live? Oh, it does. Interesting. So it just asked it to add a line chart and that's pretty much it. So I can click copy code and I can just copy the code or I can do MPX um, and it'll install it directly in my project. But in all honesty, ShadCN is one of those tools, one of these component libraries that I just use to my day to day. Even if I want to go for a different style or feel, uh, because you have access to the code, you can make changes um, to the style or feel that you're trying to achieve. Now, a project I'm working on, I want to show you how I implemented one of these blocks. Uh, you can see here that um, I'll talk about this uh, project soon, but you can see here I copied this code right here, the one that says you have no product. So all I did is I went to the code and I found where that was and it was right here, uh, this main tag right here. Right. And then I literally just copied the code, pasted it into my local host, into my sorry, Next.js project. And yeah, now I'm using it. Um, I'll be honest. I don't know if my projects would look half as good if this uh, library package, whatever you want to call it, didn't exist. Oh, he calls it a component library. Well, helps you build a component library. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have some tutorials and other videos uh, coming soon. Just a lot of IRL stuff that's been happening. But thank you all for those who are liking, commenting, subscribing. Uh, really means a lot. More videos coming soon. Let me know what you want to see in the channel. That's pretty much it.